West was strictly a, a southerner southerner. He was the real southern gentleman, always wore the Panama hat and the, and the bow tie and everything like that. I was not used to somebody so, so southern. And uh, um, I think we got along because um, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Was it easier for women in the North to be active businesswomen at the time that you were a businesswoman than in the South? Yeah, I think so. I had more freedom up North. Uh, when I got, when we got Thank married, you, I was in business with AJ only because AJ's business was established. Oh. Wow. Uh, the bride came down the steps with her daddy. My grandmother, who had red hair to the time she was in her 90s, and she could drink you under the table. We finally gave, <laughs> we finally gave her ginger ale and told her it was wine. My father. <laughs> There's the happy couple. Poor guy. Yeah, not Very young. <sighs> this was at my parents' home out in Long Island. 62 years ago. That's my, his sister. Now when you first moved down, that's That's my best friend and we're still friends. Her last name is Cohen too, isn't that funny? When, when you first moved down, um, you said it was a little difficult for you to get adjusted and to fit in, but did you start working right away or did you? No, I worked right away with you. Uh, what? And uh, Lady Jane. No, you didn't work at Lady Jane. I was, no, I didn't work with Lady Jane. I, got, I worked with one of the radio stations. With the radio stations. Right. And that was the interview show? I had an interview show, right. Okay. How did you select your guests? Uh, Thank you. My guests were selected, as I told you, what was happening that it was National uh, Dairy Week. I would get somebody prominent in the dairy business and talk about why it was the special for this week. If it was, uh, I took the event of what was that month or that week and talk to somebody prominent to explain to people why it was a big day. Why it was a big day. And now, I would interview people and I would talk With to your them. husband involved in no, he wasn't at involved. Mikvah Israel, did you ever use your um, personality, your on-air personality, to help promote the projects that he had going on? No. 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 Did not. Did not because it was nothing that was uh, his we, we We were doing separate things. Sep entirely separate things. And besides, I was not involved with uh, temple work or anything like that. For a picture. I, I um, show you. I had nothing to do really with the. With first of all, I didn't know his uncle, who was a prominent person in AJ's life. So when I came along, uh, I didn't have that image of somebody. I had uh, Aunt Julia was was. Uh, Julia Solomon's. Julia Solomon. Yeah. She was partly, I was partly interested in what she was doing. She would, it was in the days when after the Saturday, uh, always on Saturday, Aunt Julie would have the congregants, remember, come to her home. And, and she would have, oh, like, open house, which they don't every do. Sha it. Every Shabbos after Every Shabbos after, every Shabbos after temple. They would all come to her house for cookies and, and a social get-together. Was there, did they do it like we do nowadays where there was a class that had anything to do about Judaism or it was totally social? It was just her synagogue. Her, she, her, she invited the people to come in and it was like an open house. And she would have... Where did they live? live? Well, they lived on 44th 40, Street. 46. I mean 46th Street. 46 between... That's right. Abercorn and Bull. When you first remember Mikvah Israel, the... Um, there was the building, as we have it today, because that's from 1878, was there a social hall? Do I understand correctly that originally there was a one-story social hall? Right. And if I remember correctly, um, I was told that it had a stage where you staged events there. Was there also a kitchen? Right. So did you? was it a one all-purpose room? Did you have your... Your Sunday school On the side, program. There were uh, hinged doors uh, separating rooms on the side for Sunday school. 
And about how many classes do you remember? About how many kids? This was your. Uh, I don't have any okay. number. Do you remember having classes that classrooms that were filled with kids your own age, or do you remember ever going through a Sunday school grade where like you were the only one, or you were only one of two kids? Were there a lot of kids that grew well, up yeah, Jewish with you? Quite a few kids. Yep. You know, I, people like. Um, there were parts of the Ruth Sunday school. Bick, the big gal. Uh, I can't remember. Everybody. There were parts of the Sunday school where graduation class or or, or bar mitzvah classes were like one or two people. That was it. We went. We went from Sabbath school to Sunday school. We did. I remember we did first. It was on Saturday. Then we moved to Sunday. When it was Sabbath school, was it at the same time adults came for services, or was it before services and I then you were expected to go into services? I think it was before and we went into you service. went into services. And were you expected to participate in the adult service? Uh, or just sit with your parents or sit quietly? A and little bit. Not, not a great deal. Okay, so by the time that you are in high school, high school age, and you went to uh, Beach High, I'm sorry, Savannah, Savannah High, Savannah, Savannah. Savannah High. Um, and by the time you went to high school, then you were in the confirmation class, and Correct. that would have been about 1935. Five. All right, was that taught by an instructor, by a principal, or was that taught only by the rabbi? Rabbi dominated, but you had all this, but the rabbi did Dominated. If I, I remember, if I remember correctly, there is a service booklet that was for the confirmation service back then. Did you, as a class, help write that booklet, or were you given the parts and told what you would do to participate in the service? I think we were given the part and told what to do. Did you have to write a speech or take an exam to you be did, a confirmation? Yeah, I had to write a speech. Okay. And I, I did read um, about earlier classes where there was some type of rigorous exam on Judaism. Did were you expect you were not expected to do that? And there was no Hebrew that you had to do. It was a it was a speech done in English. Yeah, your Hebrew was all phonetic. All right. Did you care about confirmation, or was it just one of those things your parents? Oh, I you cared do? about it, and I, I think, think everybody in the class did. It was a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. The girls got dressed up with the white dress. I mean, they really looked forward to it. And my daddy gave me a watch when I was confirmed, and Hamilton, I think it was. And you dropped it in the And it was my first real good watch. And I wore it, I went to Tybee with the watch on, and somebody took me fishing on the dock. It was a tea dock. I got too close in and went in and ruined the watch. Was there an expectation that if you went all the way and got to confirmation that you would then participate? You were expected to go to synagogue on Saturday to service, which I did. Okay. And uh, was that true of most of the people who were confirmed with you, or did they just use it as a dropping off point from Judaism? It went on for a while, and then it began to drop off, and some continued. But being Uncle George's nephew, I went every Saturday. Furthermore, we had lunch at his house every Saturday. And I was expected to be in a synagogue. Now as the rabbi he did not keep kosher, correct? And those kinds of rules didn't... Did you ever eat the kinds of things that you don't normally associate with Jewish diet, like shellfish or or pork products, or he just didn't... It was, was a kosher style even though it wasn't kosher? No, it was very little kosher. We ate kofolta fish. But the kosher was mostly, uh, the, mostly, when I first came here, kosher was mostly for people who really were strict, were strict, ju strict Judaism, strict, uh, um, what did you call it? Uncle George yeah. did not Portuguese maintain no, a, a, kosher home. a kosher home. A kosher no. home. There but was, they had a lot of activities there that were Jewish. And uh, 
They had their own system, I guess.